Hi everyone, my name is Peyton and in this video what I want to do is go over adding an existing uh, feature pack to one of your existing environments. Um, so what I mean by that is let's say that you started a environment uh, like the one that I have here. So uh, you've kind of built it out and everything but you didn't, you didn't actually have a game mode where you could play and run around the environment now. Sometimes it's really nice to play as a character, run around the environment, check out, uh, you know, like the uh, proportions and everything. Um, and so, yeah, if you started your project without that uh, and you want it, that can kind of be a hassle. Um, but this video, you yeah, kind of run through just how easy it is to add that to your project and get started with it. Um, so by default in my environment here, uh, if I right click, you can hit play from here. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to have me in first person. So you can see that I'm kind of running around. I can see my hands in front of me. But other than that, it is a first person like view mode. And yeah, I'm kind of just enjoying my environment that way. But let's say that I actually want to have a third person instead. Um, alternatively, maybe I don't have uh, one of these game modes at all. How do I set that up? So what uh, all you have to do basically is go down to your content uh, drawer down here uh, and hit the add button. So I'm going to do that and then you will find the add feature or content pack. So I'm going to click that button and what you'll see is that you actually have uh, a lot of the options that we have before we start our project. Um, these are the template projects that you can do um, to start a project and it's really nice if you kind of already know what you're going for if you are making a game or even just wanting to run around and have a specific view mode that you're wanting to do. Um, but yeah, maybe you didn't add that uh, for whatever reason and now you want to. Basically, I can now click, let's say, the third person character uh, and then basically all you have to do is hit the add to project button. Um, so do that there and it's going to import, compile and everything and then you should be able to close out uh, and it's going to yeah as well prepare the shaders. You'll notice that down here uh, just because it's actually importing all of that information. And so now what we want to do is right now if I play from here it's still going to be playing as my uh, first person character and instead what I want is to be able to play as my third person character. So I'm going to go up to edit uh, at the top and basically go to project settings and under here you can actually find under the project uh, area you can find maps and modes. Alternatively you can also use the search uh, bar here but basically what we want to find is the default game mode. Um, so yeah, right now default game mode is just first person uh, game mode, but what I can do is actually switch this over to my third person game mode um, now that it is imported into my project. Uh, and all you have to do is close out of that and now if I go back to my scene and hit play from here, you'll see that I am playing as my third person character. Um, so yeah, it's really nice and pretty easy to actually add a uh, different game mode to your project and I think it's really useful if you are wanting to um, just start that out. Uh, additionally, like let's say that you have a character already and maybe you want a feature to where uh, the character could then switch to vehicle driving or so. Um, you could potentially like actually just bring in both of those and uh, have a transition between the different uh, game modes, I believe. So uh, that's really nice just yeah, being able to use the templates uh, that are already in there. And I think it's uh, pretty easy to actually uh, add in or integrate uh, later on, even if you don't have it currently in your project. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this video. It's just a simple uh, tip on how to add it to an existing uh, project. Uh, if you have any other questions, of course, feel free to reach out, but I will see you in the next one.